Hello and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV and it is time for the Hatching Tide event for 2023. And I think you can kind of work out what the reward for this year's Hatching Tide is. Yeah, I think the alpha actually uh, suits larger characters. Let's throw some flowers at you. You look fabulous. Okay. Oh, actually, before we uh, start the quest, allow us to... on, get rid of the chat. Just in case. I'm sure no one's going to say anything bad, but... <laughs> you, you never know. Do we... do we have an award vendor? Why do I keep saying awards? Maybe that's what we secretly need. Final Fantasy Award Show. Open for business here. Please check back again later. Do I have to do the quest first then? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so before we start the quest, we're going to take a look at the rewards you get for doing this. So that you're not spoiled if you just want to look at the rewards. Um, so it's for the rewards for the Hatching Tide 2023 event. Uh, eggy, eggy, stabby, fun. So we'll take a listen to the uh, orchestra. So the orchestra that we got as a reward is Papaya Demastered. Now you can buy this off the vendor after doing the fate. Have to do the, you'll probably have to do the fate a couple of times at least to get all the rewards. And for doing the quest, we actually got an emote called Frighten. So let's take a look at that too. Oh, very scary. So what does it look like if you're not wearing the Tombri outfit? So your eyes glow, which is an odd omission to the Tombri suit, considering they have yellow eyes. So it definitely looks more menacing while not wearing the Tombri outfit. Okay, so let's take a look at the Tombri outfit itself. So we'll start with the head. Okay. Yeah, okay, so it has the yellow eyes. So it does have the yellow eyes, it just doesn't glow when you use that emote. It's nicely textured. I mean, it's a Tombri head, so it's not going to be the massive amount of detail on it. But then with the uh, the outfit, you've got this nice hood going down. And you get all this stitching going along it. And you got the little mitts. You this little, uh, almost like a bandolier kind of thing going down, which attaches itself to this lamp. So you have this lamp carried around at their side. The, the flame itself doesn't animate, which is a bit of a shame, but the detail on the, um, the lamp here is amazing. 
and you continue down with these uh, stitches. So the rope itself is pretty plain, but to be expected. And then you have the um, the tail itself, and you can actually see the little stitching going around. really nicely detailed. I really like this. It looks really good. So now you get to uh, cosplay as a Tomberry whenever you feel like it. It's very nice. You can see the, the, the stitching going along the bottom of the, the tail. No stitching on the head! So I'm not sure it's the head is, I mean, I'm not sure it'd look good if you had stitching, but it feels a little inconsistent to the um, the tail there. But yeah, really good. Now we're going to try some basic dyes, just to show you, just to demonstrate what the dyeing capabilities of this outfit are. So as we can see, the whole thing dies. Except for the lamp. But yeah. I mean, I guess on the plus side, if you were doing a Tombree party, then you could all dress up with all different colours and be very rainbow about it. And yeah, you could all be uh, different colours completely. And you can mix and match having different body and tail colours to the other uh, ropes. It could look pretty cool, I guess. Actually, forget about what I just said, that's wrong. The uh, the tail only dies with the robe. So you kind of have to be one colour. Which is kind of awkward because the, the default of the brown robe and then the dark green tail and the dark green head works really well because that is the Tombree colours anyway. But then, if you want to change colour, you can't just change the head and tail. You have to change the rope to be the same colour too. Um, which is not ideal, I don't think. But if you just want to be uh, like this, a pure purple Tombree, then uh, I guess you th they've got you covered. Okay, so what do the gloves and the legs and the shoes look like? Take a look. So all the mitts, which are actually really nicely detailed mitts, considering you you only really see about that much of them, like this part of them when you're not wearing the robe. But these mitts are really nice. I feel like you could actually use this quite a lot for other glamours. Like these are really nice mitts. Um, I'm not sure about the dying capability. I don't know if it dies the whole thing. You know, both parts. Um, I guess I'll take a look at that in a second. If I still have any dyes left. Um, and then you got the... the, um, the shorts, basically. Which are quite nice. I'm, I'm kind of surprised they didn't change this for the female characters. But I believe these are both... Um, for both genders, they look the same. These are quite nice, too. They always remind me of, like, boxing trunks. So I guess if you wanted to do, like, a, a Balrog um, cosplay, <laughs> you could use these, maybe. I don't know. And then, we have the, um... Shoes. If I can get down on the ground enough. Got a little stitching there. You got a little stitch on the back and stitching around the. Uh, uh, I don't know what you'd call that. But yeah, these are these are quite nice. Very nicely detailed boots. Which again you wouldn't see. I 
Like these are really nice additions to just uh, glamour, really. So thank you, Square Enix, for putting so much detail into these, which you knew we'd use for other outfits. These are really cool. Love it. So instead of dying the whole thing, I thought, yeah, I might as well just show you on this, rather than me uh, having to look and procure dies. But as you can see, yeah, it's just, it's just this part. So these are really nicely made for other glams, and you could use this for anything. Unlike the four outfit that just whole thing gets dyed. It's just a part that you want to be dyed that dies. Amazing. And again, same with the the uh, these these like trunks. Making them really versatile. And the same with the boots, surprisingly. The, the top and bombs change. Depending on what you're using it with. Being darker or lighter depending on what you're using. These are fantastic. Uh, the only weird thing is, it looks really weird if you don't wear the hat. <laughs> the robe does not work alone. At least it doesn't for uh, Mikote, anyway. It's just too big. So it might work on the bigger characters? I'm not sure. My Mikote is very tiny. Uh, very pixelated if you look up close, but this is probably the range you'd actually look at it. And this is from last year's event, the artwork they uh, show all the time. I hope they keep doing these, because these artworks that they do, I'm imagining a lot of people don't even see them. And so it's really nice to have them in the actual game. I think the artwork's fantastic. They do a great job. And we're getting to know these characters, which is really nice. Yeah, I'd love to probably I have these artwork like all over the place, I imagine. Jilly Aleppo. It's been a while. Greetings, friend, and a happy hatching tide to you. May I say that you look exquisite as always, Lila. It is always a pleasure. Oh, I am most eager to share my latest dream with you. It was highly peculiar, to say the least. You see, I beheld a vision of that chilling creature of the legend, the Tonberry. If my past experience has taught me anything, it is that painstakingly recreating my dreams is sure to bring about good fortune. However, as tonberries are naught but figments of old fables, I began to doubt whether I could do justice to their ghastly appearance. But all that changed when this gentleman generously offered his assistance. <laughs> Greetings, my lady. My name is Hamlin, and I'm what you might call a supreme connoisseur and passionate aficionado of all things Tom Berry. As you may or may not be aware, Tom Berry's have heads as round and adorable as any egg, which is why I believe they are the perfect addition to the Hagentide festivities. <laughs> <laughs> so I donned the superior mantle of Tom Perry and presented myself to Miss Jilly here. <laughs> what luck, wouldn't you agree? Hamlin was kind enough to furnish our other volunteers with Tom Perry guises, and we're all hard at work preparing for the upcoming fun. And a lot of eggy, stabby fun it shall be.
Exactly. That's the spirit of Hatching Tide. Uh, perhaps without the stabby part. Considering my dream, I think that these festivities present a unique opportunity to share the Tombury's charm with the world. There's, uh, there is but one problem. A group of sylphs have been making mischief throughout the town, playing pranks, sabotaging the decorations. <laughs> oh, luckily, it seems a mere glance of the Tom Brief film is enough to send those leafy brigands fleeing in terror. Is that not remarkable how such an adorable visage can strike such fear into the hearts of some? Does not the contradiction of the Tombury's nature invigorate your very soul? <laughs> Our other volunteers are using the Tombury guises to shoo away the sylphs as best as they can, but we still find ourselves short-handed. Would you be willing to assist us, Lyloth, just until the mischief is mitigated? My sincerest thanks. Hamlin has prepared a plethora of guises for us, so I'm sure you'll have one that fits you. Amazing. And I may seem a little bit more energetic than usual because uh, I've been drinking coffee. And caffeine makes me a bit crazy. But it is so delicious. Okay, Hamlin, please give us a guise so we can have some stabby fun. <laughs> now then, <laughs> let's just commence with the most sacred of ceremonies. Uh, come closer. Uh, yeah. You must continue wearing the Tombray guise in order to progress. Speak with Hamlin to restore or prolong the garment change. Yay, we're a Tomberry. There doesn't seem to be a timer. I don't see a buff or anywhere. Oh, we're a Tomberry. Oh, you have a quest for us now. Okay. The head seems bigger than mine. And your head seems bigger than mine. Huh. Maybe it's proportional, but I don't know. I feel like my, my round head's a little bit smaller. Um, um, uh, hold still. I must take some adjustments. Oh, okay. I just... Okay, that just adds to the guys. It's gone dark already. The music is so chill, I love it. Well, if these ones can't have fun with Past ones, walking ones won't have any fun either. This one will make sure of it. But how about some eggy, eggy, stabby fun? Wait, did that work? Oh. Yeah, monstrous one. This is why these ones needed tusked ones. What are the tusked ones? Who has tusks? I hide well, what do you want? The spring out and make the walking ones screech and jump. He he! This one can't wait. Did you just call me a warty one? 
Scary one, scary one is here, free, free. There's one below us. But, but, if, if these ones are naughty, the one will become scolding one. No one. Well, no, it was these ones. B besides, it isn't la naughty. <laughs> Don't be naughty, have eggy, eggy, stabby fun. Yeah, but please, this one didn't mean any harm. Eek, sticky one, get it away. There we go with the uh, the sylphs. I need to buy this music. If I ever own a house, I'm just gonna play this all the time. I trust your your turn from a job well done. I am sure Miss Tilly would like to hear the particulars. You may relay you may relay your report after I relieve you of that outfit. <laughs> I'm glad to hear those sylphs fluttered back home. Thank you for all your help, Lila. Yes, you performed most admirably. Not only in deed, but in dress. Upon beholding a Tonbury performing such selfless acts of valour, the citizens of Gradania are sure to have warmed to our adorable paragons of pointy justice. All according to... Uh, plan... Uh, our other volunteers are currently making the rounds and checking the rest of the decorations for any residual surprises, but I dare say we shouldn't be able to we should be able to officially begin the celebration soon. And that's left is waiting for our Archon eggs to arrive from Olda. Which reminds me, Master Paulin sends his regards. He is currently recovering from injuries sustained from a particularly sharp beak, and will therefore be unable to attend Hatching Tide this year. But he generously sent us dozens and dozens of delightful eggs. So many, in fact, we had to commission the Goldsmiths Guild for helping with their decoration. I hope you enjoy the festivities. Something tells me this shall be a Hatching Tide to remember. We have a problem! N Nanotta? What is there whatever is the matter? It's, it's the eggs, Chili. The Archon eggs. Sylph swarmed the shipment as it entered the central shroud and shoved the delivery mammoth into a frenzy. The, the caravan has been brought to a complete standstill. If only you'd seen it. The chaos, the carnage, the eggs. Our beautiful Archon eggs scattered across the ground, sylphs pilfering them like spriggans, and a smoking mammoth rampaging like an old goat possessed. It was sheer madness, Jilly. The, the, the sylphs presented no demands, offered no reason by their rampant pillaging, but, but they did keep squawking about 
tusked ones and not no fair. And uh, why walking ones have all the fun? What do you suppose they mean? Ah, oh, I heard the sylphs once held an annual spring festival, but there was an incident involving one of their fighting boars. I believe that was the end of such festivities. I understand how it must pain them to see us cheerfully preparing for Agentite, but those ill-gotten eggs won't ease their suffering. We must find a way to recover them. <laughs> if I may be so bold, I believe I have the perfect solution to your conundrum. Lila's assistance will be crucial, however. <laughs> uh, you will lead us in your aid, yes? Oh, what is this? An emote? Yeah, an emote. Nice. Oh, it's that music. Things are getting serious. You wish to lend your strength to my brilliant plan, do you? Very well. Our divine mission is as follows. We must adorn ourselves in the guise of the Tonberry and scare ourselves away from the fallen eggs. Um, <coughs> um, it may seem like a, a rather familiar tactic, but the terror cuts as sharply as a knife in the right hands, as does the power of the Tonberry. Uh, uh, yeah, we shall remind ourselves of what adorable horror lurks in the shadow. It is time to take the Tonberry's naturally winsome and captivating visage and transform it into a mask of pure evil. Observe. I suppose that makes sense, but what if the delivering about it? It's it's panicked state. It may essentially make us all not for but common egg thieves. Or, or perhaps not so common, considering the geysers. That's where Lyda's participation is crucial. <gasps> oh. Even an overexcited automaton is no match for an adventure versed in the arts of warfare. Uh, of course. I shan't be so crucial as to send you into battle as defenseless as a swaddle in Ton Babe. Oh, cruel. You may rely upon me. You may rely upon me to perform the necessary enhancements upon your guise. That shall grant any stabby sweetheart the ability to withstand even the harshest of electrified zaps. In theory. Anyway. In the midst of adversity lies opportunity, as they say, or rather in the minds of scattered archon eggs, stands the noble Tonberry, that all might witness his triumphant glory. Uh, very well, let us proceed with Hamlin's plan and see what our eggs are recovered safely. See that our eggs are covered, covered with safely. Even. <clears throat> oh, uh, excellent. I shall commence the enhancements of this guise at once. And have it ready for deployment in two flecks of a Tonbury's blade. Lila, let us meet where the bowels of destiny toll. To arms. Okay, it is time for some stabby, stabby fun. Um, Yoshi P, uh, can we have a Tonbury mount, please? So, instead of holding the, uh, 
Don't they hold a lantern in their life? So if they replace the lantern with us, so holding us in the knife and running around, yes, I would be uh, I'd be most appreciative of that. Ah. Oh, whoops. Wait, what's going on? Oh, yes, grab the eggs. Send them in. Uh, it's because <laughs> everyone's doing it, it's so chaotic. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, oh, we can't. Oh, we got scared on. Oh, okay. Thirty seconds. <laughs> this is madness. Let's sign this in. We got like ten seconds. Come on. There we go. I only got silver, but yeah, that's because I couldn't really do much. And we got... Special Midnight Archon Egg. Okay. And here comes our hero now, Hamlin, who's just been regaling us with the tale of your valour, Lydaf. We can't thank you enough for recovering those Archon eggs. Truly, for the bottom of our hearts and purses, thank you. Oh, my single regret is that no rapturous bystanders were present in those solitary woods to witness such valorous displays. Uh, alas! The Tonbury's Majesty will once again pass unacknowledged. Yet such is often the way with true goodness. <gasps> Lero the works in secrecy for the betterment of all. My friends, their name is Donberry. Profound, I'm sure. I must say, Hamlin, your unflagging devotion to all things Tonbury is both remarkable. And admirable. Um, pardon me. We were in those solitary woods, and we saw what you did for us. Uh, what Tom Berries did for us. I was heartbroken when I still stashed away the archon egg that my friend had given me. But thanks to you, it was recovered safely. You saw breeze of my eternal thanks. I only wish you didn't have to scare yourself so badly. It's poor things. It's a terrible way to return the mischief. 
<laughs> My John Bracens is a dingling. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> uh, consider this. If we, uh, if we decorate our eggs with a Tonbury theme, the ships will dare actual sabotage them. A dark green coat on a large egg with two golden circles for eyes? Not bad at all. Perhaps even cute. Jilly, perhaps this is what your dream foretold. Not just Tonbury guises, but Tonbury eggs. In decorations as well. In which case, we should send word to our older goldsmiths that we'd like another batch of Arkham eggs in some striking shades of sombre. Of course, all our eggs are package during transit, meaning the sylphs will likely continue their mischief outside the city. I'm tempted to send a Tombray guard with the caravan, but the road from Old Ar is far too long to attempt in such a guise. We shall continue to consider possible alternatives, but in the meantime, should you happen to come across another whale shipment, waylaid shipment, I hope I can count on your assistance. Ah, uh, as a Tombray, of course. Well, seeing as our Archon eggs have finally arrived, I dare say it is time to officially get cracking. Let the hatching tide festivities begin! So what do we get? Unnerving undulations. It is, is indeed not easy being green. Um, okay, so what does this look like? So let's have a quick look at this emote we got. Oh wow, our eyes glow, that's crazy. That's really good, I like that. Okay, so uh... What do you have for us? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so yeah, the Tombry outfit isn't a um, a reward from the quest. The emo is, so we can purchase it with our special Midnight Archon eggs. So we're gonna have to do that a few times. Papaya demastered. Is that the song we're hearing right now? Hatching Tide Advertisement. Oh. Guess I should pick up a few of these. Like I did with the paintings. I'm running out of space. I need to make space somewhere. But yeah, this has been the Hatching Tide event for 2023. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you go and get these rewards before they're gone. You've got until the 10th of April. So you've got plenty of time to go catch these uh, rewards and yeah another fantastic event with great rewards thank you square enix and thank you for watching i shall see you next time bye for now <laughs>